Hi traders, welcome to another weekly for your forecast on FS list, which is for 25th to 29th of January year 2021. In this week, I'm going to share with you some list of currency pairs I have on my watch list next coming week should in case of trade breakout opportunity. And then if today is your first time view my YouTube channel, do not forget to click on the subscribe button as well it on the notification bell. So whenever I release additional content of this kind, you're going to be the first to be notified. Also, remember, trading is a high risk and a high reward investment. Therefore, it's advisable you know what you are doing and then risk smartly. Here are the list of currency pairs I am watching out for next coming week. I have the British pound sterling paired against the ULZ. I have the Euro paired against the ULZ. I have the ULZ paired against the Japanese yen. I have the Australian dollar paired against the ULZ. And then we're going to wrap up our analysis with the Litecoin paired against the ULZ. So let's dive into the weekly fire forecast right now. The first currency pairs on our watch list is the British pound sterling paired against the ULZ. To skip from one currency pairs analysis to the other, check on the timestamp under this weekly forex forecast video. So here comes the chart of the British pound sterling paired against the ULZ. Right from the swing lower low right here, we can see this no rally transform into a bullish aggressive rally. But the moment right now, we can figure out no weakness in the bullish momentum right here because there's a series of consolidation phase right here. And the pattern we got right here, we, we got a rising narrow wedge, which does suggest no uh, bearish or implication. You can see that. So next week, I don't want to buy at uh, this extreme high right here because there's high tendency for price to result into a bull trap. So if you want to buy right here next week, it's not advisable. There's high tendency for price to result into a bullish no trap. Instead, I'm going to pay close attention to see how price is going to react to this level. If price can carve a strong bearish no price action bar, then it's nice to look out for a pullback to the key level support of the 1.34. 829 we can see we got a pullback right there we got a pullback right there we got a pullback right there so this is my own personal expectation next week if price can offer a pullback to the key level support of the 1.34829 then i'm gonna patiently monitor this zone to see if price can offer a strong bullish buy no price action bar maybe for the continuation of the aggressive bullish rally we got no on this currency pairs and then there's high tendency for the base to break this key level support which acts at the price level of the 1.34829 and then if that should occur the next structure we got to pay close attention to should be at the dynamic support trend line we got right here so this dynamic trend line had been uh, effective right from the may year 2020 like right likewise right there june 2020 we got it right here as a support september 2020 right here october 2020 so there's high tendency for this dynamic no support trend line right here to interest buyers to have a strong bullish bar price action right here so next week as a price action trader pay close attention to see how price gonna react through this medium of the 1.34829 likewise resistance structure of the 1.37528 likewise the dynamic support which lies right here the next currency pairs on our watch list is the euro paired against the ulz right from the breakout of the symmetrical triangle we got right here we can see the bullish move we got a breakout of a bullish flag right here continuation of the bullish move we got a bearish close you no know, of this rising flag right here and then we got a double bottom right here which led into continuation of the strong bullish move we got a resistance structure which rejected price downwards to the key level support of the 1.20752 we can see it acted as a support right here, likewise as a support right here. The bars which formed right here, it's a variation of a morning star or bar, which does suggest more bullish interest on this rally right here. So next week, as a price action trader, we got to pay close attention to the key level support, which comes in at the price level of the 1.20752. Likewise, the resistance structure, which would come in at the price level of the 1.23563. Next week, if the bush can put price to this key level structure right here, we got to pay close attention to figure out how price going to react to this level. We can see right here, price carved a bearish and bar. 
Alternatively, next week, if the base can step in, whereby they make a rejection of price downward, they still have to clear off this key level support of the 1.20752 before they can aim to the dynamic support trend line. And this dynamic trend line right here had been rejecting price right from this structure right here, May year 2020. Likewise, at this medium right here, November year 2020. For as long as this dynamic no support trend line is still acting as a dynamic support for price right here, it therefore suggests the bulls are still active no in this rally right here. And then not until the bears can successfully make uh, a bearish close below this dynamic support before they can build up more bearish momentum to retest the next key level support which acts at the price level of the 1.9621. So next week, pay close attention to this currency pairs to see reaction of price. If price can make a bearish pullback right here, then the formation right here does suggest this uh, potential head and the right here a shoulder and the right here a shoulder, which does suggest a pattern which is going to constitute and influence more sellers to step in right here to pull price downward, whereby this zone right here is going to act as a neckline of this formation right here. So next week, as a price action trader, Pay close attention to the key level support of the 1.20752. Likewise, resistance comes in at the 1.2356. Likewise, dynamic support we got right here. The next currency pair on our watch list is the ULZ pair against the Japanese yen. We can see this currency pair is in a strong bearish aggressive rally. And the pattern we got right here does suggest no a bullish technical implication. You can see right here, we got this no bearish narrow wedge which has a bullish no technical implication so let's zoom in on this currency pairs so next week we gotta pay close attention to the dynamic resistance trend line which comes in right here we can see whenever price retest this dynamic resistance trend line there's always an instant pullback of price likewise right here instant pullback of price and then right here instant pullback of price but at this moment right here we can see clustering of price to this dynamic resistance trend line which does suggest the bulls are doing what they can to break out of this no dynamic resistance trend line so next week if the bulls can successfully break out of this dynamic trend line right there then it does suggest the bulls are willing to retest the next key level resistance which acts at the price level of the 104.66 for as long price trade within or under this key level structure right here it this suggests the price right there is still under the influence of this no bearish rally right there and then not until if the boost can ensure a strong bullish close above this no resistant key level structure which acts at a price level of the 104.66 and then revalidating it as a strong no support structure for continuation of the bullish rally alternatively next week if the bear should step in whereby they ensure a daily close below this high low swings right there which was being carved by the bulls if the bears can step in ensuring a bearish close below this minor key level structure right there which was a high rejection right there and the low right there then it suggests the bears are willing to retest the dynamic support trend line which acts right there you can see how it acted as a dynamic support trend line for price right there likewise all right here so next week as a price action trader Pay close attention to the minor swing high low we got right here and then as well the dynamic support trend line right here as well dynamic resistance trend line which acts at this medium right here but what i can figure out right here if we should navigate based on the four hour chart frame of this currency pairs we're gonna figure out on the four hour chart frame we got another pattern which does know our uh, as a lot of no bullish no technical or uh, implication that is a bearish no channel and the wish has no a technical implication for a bullish no interest so next week as a price action trader i'm going to advise you to focus much of your attention to see how price going to react to this dynamic resistance trend line and the high low minor structure we got right here the next currency pairs on our watch list is the australian dollar paired against the ulz right from the structural low right here we can see the strong bullish aggressive rally on this currency pace price broke out of this descended triangular formation right here into a more bullish rally so what i can figure out right here it's a point of accumulation accumulation is going on right here so we gotta pay close attention to the key level support which acts at a price level of the 0.76446 and as well, there's something I want to share with you guys based on the four hour chart frame. So, navigating on the four hour chart frame of this currency pairs right here, 
this is the pattern I got right here. You can see we got a symmetrical triangle. So in a symmetrical triangle, which we got based on a strong bullish aggressive rally, it does has a lot of possibility to result into continuation of the bullish upward rally. So next week, as a price action trader, pay close attention to this pattern based on the four hour chart frame as well. Focus much of your attention on the daily chart frame. If price can offer a strong bullish close above the last high swing we got right there, and that is the price level of the 0 0.78000, it does suggest more bullish continuation rally on this currency pairs. As well, there is high tendency for price to make a pullback to the key level support which acts at the price level of the 0 0.76446. So, next week, if the bears successfully ensure a bearish close below this medium, this key level structure right here, there's high tendency for this level daily close to interest more sellers to pull price downward to the previous key level support which acts at the price level of the 0 0.73785. So next week, pay close attention to this medium of uh, accumulation phase which we got right here. Maybe it's going to be continuation for a bullish aggressive rally or maybe a downward no rally downward. Okay, it's time we wrap up analysis with the Litecoin paired against the ULZ and this for the crypto traders. So I shared this no technical setup analysis on the trading view. So I said for as long price they trade within this parabolic movement pattern, right from August of 2020, we can see the Litecoin had been in a parabolic or uh, movement or pattern. So uh, as long price trade within this parabolic pattern is just suggest a boost as they take charge you know, on this crypto or coin right here. And then the gravestone bar which we got right here is a threat to price action right here. So, and then as well we can see the highest swing high right here which we got at a price level of the uh, actually resistance comes in which i constructed from the weekly chart frame and then there's a price level of the 175.18 so we can tag this level right here there's a price level of the 123.15 as a key level support for price right here and then as well there's something i share with you guys if you should view right from the swing high right here to this medium right here we got a movement right here we got a grip st stone bar right here we got another movement right here so the pattern which i uh figure out right here is technically this pattern is setting up to be uh, a double bottom formation so for as long the boosts are still trading under this or uh, minor key level structure we got right here which acts at the intersection of the 160 slash 150 then it suggests the rally on the light coin is still under the influence of the bs dice on the short term no bearish extension we need to figure out you no know, a strong bullish close above this minor key level structure right here before we can figure out maybe the boost are still interested to put price to the highest swing high of the resistance structure of the 175.18 and then above this you no know, swing high right here so next week if you are trading the crypto market or if you are planning to invest in the crypto market especially the litecoin make sure you figure out you no know, a strong bullish close above this medium right here dies if you miss this pattern right here I already bought some Litecoin into my digital wallet in expectation for price to break out of this medium. So this medium right here can turn into a double bottom for a more continuation rally on the Litecoin. So this is what I want to share with you guys as well. Alternatively, there's high tendency for price to close below this parabolic pattern right here. If price can close below this parabolic movement right there and then close below this key level support which acts at a price level of the 123.15 which you got at the support right there, the likewise right there as a resistance then it does suggest the Litecoin paired against the USD is gradually turning into a bearish no face and then don't be surprised if the price of the Litecoin paired against the ULZ depreciate to the value of the 91.17 so this is my personal opinion on the crypto market especially the light screen i got the likes of the ethereum as well i got the ethereum right here on the rising bullish no china you can see that based on the four hour chart frame i bought some ethereum as well right here but on the bitcoin i don't like the price action going on on the bitcoin right now right here in a symmetrical triangle and price is correctly retesting the dynamic support trend line so let's see maybe it's gonna 
turn into a dynamic resistance trend line in combination with the key level minor key level structure we got right here so guys this is what i want to share with you in this weekly forex forecast thank you for watching from the beginning to the end and if you haven't subscribed yet to my free trading class which i do old know every thursday 8 p.m gmt plus one there's a link under this video click on that link so you can register today and then if you are looking out for a reliable trustworthy honest community whereby you can learn how to trade the crypto forest stocks no meta energy market for free and then as well in this community i share my personal trading no decision opinion in the market where i want to get in buy sell then i offer the community which is going to be helpful for you to build your career to become a successful and consistent trader in the market check under this link as well so you can join today and if you are looking out for a reliable trustworthy honest transparent brokerage firm i get the likes of for the forest brokerage firm as well stock or brokerage or firm also for crypto traders check under the links i have under this video so you can register today so thank you guys and then do have a wonderful weekend ahead peace